Hello YouTube, welcome back to GRG Life Safety. On my previous video, I got a couple comments asking me to do a tutorial on the Arduino based coder module that I was testing. This design is remarkably simple and it does not require much experience to make. For this build, you will need the following an Arduino Uno, a 5 volt relay, a 9 volt power supply, your alarm, the power supply for your alarm, and DuPont wire. Links in the description for these items. Alright, so, the first thing you want to do is go into the description of this video and click on the link that says code, and then download the zip file. In this file, there will be some INO files that you can use in Arduino IDE. Plug your Arduino into the computer, open Arduino IDE, open one of the .ino files included in the zip file, and then click the upload button. This will install the code onto the Arduino, and then you can get on to step 2. So this is the circuit. What you have to do is you have to plug a wire into the ground pin and then plug it in to this terminal right here on your pin. And then take another wire, connect it to pin 2, and then connect it to this terminal, the one on the opposite side of the one you disconnected. And now take the 24 volt or whatever power supply that you use for your alarm, connect either the positive or negative. I usually do the positive, connect it to here, this terminal, and then connect a wire to your alarm on the opposite end of it, right here. And then you just basically connect your negative to your alarm, or whichever one you didn't do through the relay. What a relay does is it's basically just a switch that instead of you flipping yourself, it's flipped by an electronic signal. So basically you can control a 24 volt circuit with a 5 volt microcontroller. I actually taped mine because my DuPont wire isn't very high quality, but this happens when you plug it in. And that's how you make a coder module. If you want to change it to a different code other than March time, just pick a different INO file that's in the zip file. But yeah, you just do that and then you have a coder module. It's quite simple. And if you want to 3D print like an extra thing for it, then go right ahead. Make it fancy. This tutorial just taught you how to make a bare bones coding module though. Stay tuned for future uploads because I'm going to be making some cool things. Be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys next time.